Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I am painting over this big one. Um, if you've seen this video you would have seen me drop the camera on it and uh, make a bit of a mess. Um, I was never quite happy with it so because it's such a large canvas I'm going to paint over it. So the idea today is I'm going to do some Payne's Grey as my base colour and then I have these colours here. I've got uh, iridescent white, some titanium buff with a little bit of iridescent white and pearl mixed in, some champagne, some gold, some bronze, some almond which I'm trying out, uh, silver, I've got some Van Dyke brown and some um, burnt sienna. I tried a little um, canvas to test out these colours and I had a bit too much of this in it. I think I would prefer just to have a tiny bit. So I was originally wanted to swipe through this, but I've decided to do two um, flip cup drags. And uh, if I'm not happy with the way that turns out, my backup is to swipe through it. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start filling our cups. Um, so one of the things I did wrong in my test was I put burnt sienna down first so I want to put the colors that probably I want a bit more dominant on the top um, which is probably these ones perhaps so let's start with those oh do I want gold on top I'm going to do Right, there's still a little bit of gold and a little bit of, let's make them slightly different. It's thicker than I was expecting. So I'm just doing small amounts of colour at the start. And then I'll build up to bigger layers, I think. Mm. I don't have a lot of this one, so it's a bit thick though. Probably should have thinned that down a little bit more. Which means it's probably not going to spread correctly, so I might stop using that. Some silver. And I might use a bit of the Van Dyke brown now. Bronze. I do have a little bit of iridescent white. And I might put a tiny bit of the burnt sienna in there just for a pop of colour without having a huge amount. Gold, I think. Silver. That's about it for the silver. Some bronze. I do want to get these reasonably full. Van Dyke brown. A little bit burnt sienna. Don't have a lot of this colour left. Gold. done this exactly the way I was going because I was planning to have it a little bit more full so that's why I'm adding a bit of that burnt sienna on the bottom which is fine. Alright, that's those done. Alright, 
let's put down our base. Get a feel for this canvas again. Okay. I might actually just get a brush and paint my corners. I might just wet them down a bit because it helps the spread. In there. Not too many though, it's been sitting for a little while. Um, but I did wonder whether I should do one cup at a time. Do I want to go and then? No, I'm going to flip them both. Let's do it. See, it's already that gold is separated. Okay. Uh, and then here. Oh, that one actually wants to move. So yeah, I in my test that I did um, with these colours, um, I've had to freshen them up a little bit, so I've added a little bit of pour, more pouring maybe. But um, when I did the flip cup, I just had all these cells pop up, and uh, it looked really cool. And you can see I've got some there. I'm not supposed to have them yet, and I want to start with this side first because it's going to be further away from me. Let's sit a little bit more. Yeah, because that that will look really, really cool. And it looks like I should have enough paint, but I do have a little bit left if I need it. All right. How do I want to go? I don't want to go something like that. Okay, it's thin towards the middle, but it is pretty. So I don't know how the stretching out will go with that middle bit. I might have to slow down towards the middle with this one and let a bit more out and less out here. All right. Look at that up there. It's even cool. Mm. 
Not sure about that. But it's caving in. I do like this. So, I think I'd like to tip this off, keep this down here. And we'll go up, flow up this way. I'm not sure if I want to do any swipes. I could swipe through here. There's some interesting spots popping up here. All right, I'm gonna do a palette, loaded palette swipe. All right. These little dots. So I'm glad I didn't swipe over those. I've got some massive cells coming through that. All right, should we give it a stretch? All right. Which way do I want to go first? Do I want to take this off first and then go up that way? Uh, I feel like I'm overstretching it. <laughs> hmm, I think I really bugged this up. But now that I've done that, I feel like I have to. So I've done this thing here. This is actually starting to take shape. Mm. I've got too much black. I mean, this is way overstretched, but I'm not too careful not to drip on it. Black bit up the top.
so many lines. Hmm. Don't know if I can really tilt it anymore. I've opened up that black circle again. A little bit of a, a wiggle there. But, uh, and I've just dropped a dot of black, wouldn't you know it? I don't know if I can tip that off. Never know, this might actually work out by having to try and tip that dot off. Patience though. Such a big canvas, it takes a while and there's not a lot of paint left to tip it. I really bug it up the start. Big blacks again. Okay, here is the wet result. Now I'm actually drying it on a bit of an angle because I want it to move a little bit further down. There's not a lot of paint on it, so it should uh, go very slowly. So this is uh, not the way I was planning to do it. Um, but having said that, this could have some real appeal. I want to see it dry. I can see that there's going to be some shine through parts, particularly through here. There's still a few cells there, but they're, you know, we've got the squiggly lines and everything. But this bit here, there's too much um, there's too much black just there. It's not balanced. I don't want to have to paint over this again. So if I can get that to move down very slowly and perhaps half the size of that black, I think I'd be happy, but I don't think it's going to go that far. So you can see that I've Propped it up on a couple of cups. Um, this bit through here where I dropped the paint, I tried to fix it. I might come in with a brush later and just tidy that up a bit. Depending on whether I like the piece or not. Yeah, so I'll bring it back when it's dry. Okay, here is the dry result. Now I had a few issues with the canvas, um, with the size of it and the weight of the paint. It was puddling in the middle. So I don't know if you recall uh, when I did the first flip cup and it looked thinner in the middle. I think that's because all the black was pushing it inwards because uh, it was all puddling in the middle. Also I think my colours uh, were probably a little thin maybe that's why it stretched out the way it did but here it is dry it's got a little bit of shine we've got some lovely striking through there um, 
And that's that little bit. I haven't touched that up yet because um, I just don't know about this one. I do like the stripes. Um, and that's very shiny through there, which is I kind of expected, but it's got it's got an unusual texture. Um, but this black bit here, to me, doesn't look right in the composition. So I'm going to show you a few different orientations. So it's that way, that way. So for me, I think I prefer it as a portrait uh, style, maybe up the other way, maybe that way. So yeah, I don't know guys, what do you think? Um, yeah, so um, I think I like it this way the best with the black on the side rather than in the middle at the top or the bottom. Um, so it's not quite as obvious um, and I do definitely like some of these stripes yeah so let me know your thoughts in the comments um, should I touch up that little bit of black and I don't know maybe I just don't know anyway uh, that's it for this one guys uh, let me know what you think and I will see you all in the next one bye